You see people getting remote jobs all the time and you want one too, and you can. Well, what you need to do is start spamming everyone in their DMs and telling them to hire you. Actually, I'm joking, don't do that. That is the last thing that you wanna do. So definitely don't do that because when your name comes up again, they're gonna see, oh, that person's kind of you know a spammer and just makes noise. You don't wanna make noise, you always wanna add value. Usually some of the first steps that when you're on that journey to get in that role is gonna be kind of a video call. But you want to impress the person before that. Make that journey like so much easier to get there. So what I highly recommend you doing is actually recording a short video and maybe pinning it to the top of your, your Twitter account or having on YouTube if you have a YouTube account. I think it's really important to show the person kind of, you know, that you're presentable and that, you know, you're articulate and you can talk. I think that's really, really important. So that's tip number one. Now tip number two is you want to show people that you're collaborative and you can collaborate, communicate in written form asynchronously across time zones as well because remember we're talking about remote here so time zones are probably a big factor so you need to get involved in the open source i'm not saying you need to make the biggest contributions to the fastest moving fanciest most popular projects no just have some contributions on your github account they could be issues code reviews improving documentation anything just have those different types of collaborations i think that is really important tip number three Put those collaborations, well, your favorite ones on your resume. That's really important. If someone goes to your GitHub and you're doing a lot of activity, which is great, they might not see the ones you want them to see. So on your resume, make sure you have a link to your favorite issue, your favorite pull request. It doesn't matter if they're open, closed, merged, whatever it is. If it's been great collaboration on there and you've really explained the issue, explained the pull request, even if it's a small code change, but you gave put lots of effort in and gave lots of context, and that's really important, that adds so much much value. So have that, have two or three or four on your resume. I think that's really important. Make it easy for people to find that. And also have a link to the video that you're pinning hopefully to your Twitter account. Maybe have it in your GitHub customized profile. Let people know what it's like to work with you in the video format, in written format. Again, make it easier for them. Don't make yourself a stranger. You want to make it to appear like you're a really good friend and a co-worker. If you want to go even further, you could collaborate with this company beforehand so they could reach out to you rather than you reaching out to them. Why don't you have a look at their Twitter account, see if you can engage with their content and don't just say great and thumbs up, add value, maybe make a suggestion, maybe ask a question going back at them. I think it's really important to do that and do the same with their GitHub profile. Go have a look. Can you add some improvements? Can you review their pull requests? And reviewing their pull requests could be asking a question. You don't want to have to keep doing this and, and annoying them, but if something doesn't look clear, then maybe say, well, what does this mean? Should something be added to the documentation? Add value. Again, put yourself in their shoes and add value. I cannot stress that enough because if you add value, they're going to think, right, we want this person person to join us. Just to repeat the joke I made at the beginning, don't spam people. If you do contact people via DMs, make sure you've kind of tried to engage with them for weeks or months beforehand consistently. And consistently is really important. So therefore, when they see your name pop up, they're going to think, oh, let me see what they say because they're always adding value to my conversations or my contributions or whatever it is. They're going to look at your message and think, oh, actually that department over there or our department, et cetera, is hiring. Let me forward on their resume and, and make that introduction. The introduction will, won't be, oh, this random person who's hassling me. It'd be, this person keeps adding value. I really think they'd be a great asset to the team. And like I said, there are people getting remote jobs all the time and getting paid well, and you can too, and I want that for you. I'm not saying work for free, but you've got to stand out from the crowd. And the way you can do that is engaging, adding value on various platforms. I highly recommend GitHub and Twitter. If you focus on those two, I guarantee you these companies are going to come to you. But remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below so you get notified every time I post a video and go live.